What's up guys, this is Storm, and I hope you're having a very good weekend. In today's video, we'll be discussing about the PS5 Pro and what developers have to say upon it. As you may have not known, yesterday was the final day for the Tokyo Game Show event. At this event, people managed to get hands-on experience with the PS5 Pro playing different games. Some are Final Fantasy VII Rebirth and Monster Hunter Wilds, and a few others to name. And in a PlayStation blog post that came out during the state of play leading up to the Tokyo Game Show, some developers have came out and said uh, their experience uh, developing their games or updating their games for the PS5 Pro and what, it, what will it be capable of doing in the final product. So we could be going over some developers uh, company statements of what they say about the PS5 Pro and what they're going to use to utilize their games in the future and what games that they have out right now and how it's going to be updated when the PS5 Pro launches this time in November. Without further ado, let's take a look at those quotes. The first one we have is from Polyphony Digital, the developer of Gran Turismo. While Gran Turismo Sound was already able to render in native 4K PlayStation Spectral Super Resolution PSSR for short, on PS5 Pro it is also effective on 4K sources, allowing for even more detail and higher image quality than ever before. Additionally, we are now able to support ray tracing during races, which was previously impossible. This, has, this allows not only for our car services to show full reflections of other cars, but also for a car to reflect its own parts, greatly enhancing realism and immersion throughout the whole game. Furthermore, Gran Turismo 7 will feature an experimental support for 8K 60fps output. Players will be able to see the precise model cars, tracks, and unprecedented details and clarity with a breathtaking sense of presence thanks to these cutting edge developments. Grand Trader 7 will be able to provide more exciting visual stunning race experience than was previously possible. And I think that's pretty cool that they managed to get Grand Trader 7 basically be able to use ray tracing on the outside of their cars while maintaining a good 4K and 60 FPS uh, frame rate and the fact it was able also to output at 8K at 60 FPS output, which is very surprising. Uh, especially uh, currently right now, there are not a, lot of, not a lot of 8K capable TVs. There probably there are monitors maybe, but the fact that 8K 60, that is really impressive. All right, now on to the next studio and what they say up what they have to say about the PS5 Pro. Next, we have Gorilla. PlayStation 5 Pro brings a lot of extra horsepower that will allow us to really push the graphical fidelity while also maintaining the stable high framing that we all enjoy so much. For Horizon Forbidden West, which that means you can now enjoy visually quality that matches or surpasses the quality mode on the regular PS5 and now at 60 FPS, double the frame rate. It also good to point out that visual quality isn't just about resolution, it's about so much more. There are many improvements to the decimal engine that are now made possible because of the rendering power of the PS5 Pro. You'll see improvements to shadows, depth of field, skin, hair shader, clouds, god ray, and so much more. It's pure eye candy at race car levels of performance. We hope you enjoy it. We're also very happy to share that Horizon Zero Dawn Remaster comes with native support for the PlayStation 5 Pro. This includes a range of graphic uh, features that have been improved to make use of the power of the PS5 Pro, while also delivering ultra high fidelity at blazing fast frame rates. So, I am definitely excited when it comes to Gorilla because the Decima engine that they're used for their games and what Kojima is using for Death Stranding 2 that comes out next year, whatever Kojima helped amplify that Decima engine, it looks crazy. And if you have played Horizon Forbidden West, you could definitely see the Decima engine like 
it makes the game look so beautiful. So the fact that the PS5 Pro is amplifying that even more, I can't wait for Gorilla Next Project. It could be Horizon 3 or that rumor online Horizon game that they're doing. And it's also cool that um, Horizon Zero Dawn Remaster is going to be getting a native PS5 Pro uh, enhancement. So that's also cool in case if anybody who never played Horizon and is getting the PS5 Pro for the first, uh, again, the PS5 Pro and never play Horizon at any point in time. I believe this will be the best way to play it while having to sacrifice your resolution for frame rate. Alright, let's see what the next studio has to say about the PS5 Pro. Next we on to Naughty Dog. We here at Naughty Dog are proud to offer PS5 Pro updates for both The Last of Us Part 1 and The Last of Us Part 2 Remastered, ensuring PS5 Pro players have the most optimized experience for both entries. Each game will offer a new PS5 Pro specific enhanced rendering mode that takes advantage of improved graphics processing, rendering 1440p, then upscaling to 4K via P SSR super resolution. This mode maintains the 60fps target, offering an ideal balance of frame rate and resolution. Performance and fidelity rendering modes are still available on PS5 Pro and will provide even smoother experience than players will see on a original PS5, as well as a higher frame rate if your display supports it. Whether, whether it will be your first time experiencing these stories or a chance to jump in again, we hope all fans of Last of Us enjoy experience, experiencing this amazing way to play. Alright. So that was from Naughty Dog. It's nice that they are taking advantage for their uh, current games they have out, which is The Last of Us Part 1 and Last of Us Part 2. But I, I am curious to see what will Naughty Dog, what do Naughty Dog have cooking that will be most likely developed from the ground up on the PS5 and be able to be enabled using the power of the PS5 Pro. Now that is something I definitely like to see. So until then, yeah, uh, now you don't get sent out updates for their Last of Us games, and I'm kind of curious will Uncharted get uh, improvement also because that game already looks amazing. So if they're gonna do it for the Last of Us, I could definitely see like Uncharted 4 and uh, the spin-off story, uh, Last of Us and. And what was that name? I can't remember from the top of my head, but uh, uh, everybody know, you should know the one I'm talking about. The one with Ned, uh, where you are with Nadine and Sam and yeah, you know. So until then, hopefully we'll at some point see what now you don't have cooking. All right, on to the next one. On to the next two, which is Insomniac, who right now are my current favorite uh, PlayStation Studio. At Insomniac Games, we released four games for PlayStation 5, and we're excited to be enhancing all four to take advantage of the new capabilities available to us on the PS5 Pro. Players of Marvel Spider-Man Remastered, Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales, Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart, and Marvel Spider-Man 2 will find the new default performance mode, which marries the crispy 4K resolution and ray tracing features of Fidelity mode with the speedy 60 frames per second of performance mode. These are incredible no compromises experience we know fans will love and we're excited to spend even more time finding new ways we can leverage PS5 Pro on both these existing titles and future games like Marvel Wolverine. So, Exonia did a little flex there saying that they released four games on the ps5 pro and all four of them will be pro enhanced i definitely am excited to see the difference compared to ratchet clan with the part from the ps5 and from the ps5 pro version of it because ratchet clan with the part already look good and also uh all three of those current spider-man games and now they even confirmed that Marvel Wolverine will also be pro-enhanced when that game eventually launched. 
and I can't wait to we finally get to see how that game is looking. Like I could just already imagine uh, what kind of details that the pro will be able to do for Marvel's Wolverine. Like, oh, the the imagination is endless. I'm really hoping they truly knock it out of the park when that game comes out. Uh, until we know definitive when that game is coming out, that's definitely in my current type top five most anticipated game. All right, let's see what the next studio have to say. Now we're moving on to the third party, starting with Avalanche Software, the developers behind Hogwarts Legacy. We are so excited to finally share that we have upgraded Hogwarts Legacy for the PS5 Pro. As soon as we had access to the new console, we decided to focus our efforts on the following hardware technology pillars. Increased performance capabilities, state of the art PSR upscaling image, resolution technology, new ray tracing features. With the increased performance capabilities, we are able to raise the quality of our performance and fidelity visual modes without compromising player experience. Players will be able to experience a crispier, richer, higher resolution graphics, leveraging PSSR on all visual modes. The additional GPU performance part allow us to revamp our fidelity ray tracing visual modes to present the game in a new light. Players will notice new visual reflections and ray trace shadows in all environments from the gorgeous indoor reflection around Hogwarts Castle Great Hall and its classrooms. The detailed shadows around the Hogsmeade shops and the rich water reflections around the Black Lake to the mysterious shadows around the Forbidden Forest. Hogwarts Legacy continues to show that magic is everywhere. I truly enjoy my experience with Hogwarts Legacy and a while back I did hear there was a rumor that they are going to do a sequel to it. So if they're um, doing a pro enhance for the first one, it's almost feel like it's guaranteed to say that the sequel or whatever the next game they have working on will also be pro enhanced on launch. So I am excited to see how it will turn out in the end. Especially there was some things that the game definitely need like a better graphic fidelity. So now that is getting it. Yeah. Hogwarts Legacy is going to be a fun to enjoy for in case anybody who haven't played it and want to play the best experience for it. I now we're getting close, getting on to our next studio that we have. Now we are reaching Capcom. Greetings arisen on PlayStation. From all of us at Capcom, we are thrilled to welcome the PS5 Pro. Dragon Dogma 2 will benefit from the power of the PS5 Pro, PlayStation Special Super Resolution, and new ray tracing technology allowing improved frame rates. For those new to Dragon Dogma 2, prepare for a single player narrative driven action RPG that challenges players to choose their own experience. For the appearance of their arisen, their vocation, their party, how to approach different situations, and more set forth on your grand adventure or PS5 Pro arisen. For Resident Evil Village, we added 120 FPS gameplay to provide the best possible user experience on the PS5 Pro. Thanks to this major performance boost to unique and mem memorable cast of characters look even more realistic, adding greatly to the scare factor and the action scene had more punch than ever before. The beautiful haunting world of Resident Evil Village uses the power of the PS5 Pro for ultra high resolution technology, painting a vividly realistic picture that allows for the highest sense of immersion. Resident Evil 4 is a survival horror game with a ton of gameplay variety built around the concept survival is the beginning on the PS5 Pro. The game runs at a higher frame rate with a dynamic action even more intense. Resident Evil 4 also uses the power of the PS5 Pro for ultra high resolution technology, painted vividly realistic imagery brimming with detailed environments and much more natural and beautiful visual effects than ever before. So, Capcom have confirmed that Resident Evil uh, Dragon's Dama is going to take 
full events of the PS5 Pro. They're gonna be able to have Resident Evil Village run at 120 FPS, and Resident Evil 4 will be at a higher uh, resolution. I I was kind of hoping they would have said something for Monsanto Wild to see if that would be benefit from the PS5 Pro. But I guess we just have to wait and see. I think it will. I believe uh, Monsanto Wilds was one of the confirmed games, but I'm not 100% sure I have to relook at that. But here's hoping Monsanto Wilds is one of the games I am looking forward to that release next year. Alright, on to the next studio company. From EA, we are excited to see how Dragon Age the Velgar will lean into the power that the PS5 Pro unlocks for players, whether you love deep progression strategic combat or diving into the lore of Dragon Age. You will immediately notice the improved experience with the PS5 Pro. The game's fidelity and performance modes will both see improvements on the hardware, including improved resolution and 30 FPS, fidelity and 60 FPS performance modes. Additionally, there will be various improved visuals setting across 30 FPS fidelity and 60 FPS performance mode. The team at Bioware is proud of how immersed players will be when they enter the beautiful world of Thetas. With upgraded image quality thanks to Sony new AI based upscalers, PSSR we enable ray trace ambient inclusion in the 60 FPS performance mode, which previously was only available only on the base PlayStation 5 with 30 FPS fidelity mode. Our engineers have been thrilled to push the boundaries of what possible with the new hardware from partnering with Sony Interactive Entertainment, was allow us to deliver an even more enhanced version of Star Wars Jedi Survivor for PlayStation 5 Pro. In quality mode, we offer our highest ever console resolution of 4K. At the same time, performance mode continues to deliver a solid 60 FPS. But now with higher resolutions, the added visual depth and ray trace for reflections and ambient inclusion, the new PSR upscaling ensures a sharper visual experience in both modes. Performance mode on PS5 Pro is my new favorite way to play Star Wars Jedi Survivor. I can't wait for you to play it. Now this, I welcome the improvement because playing Jedi, playing the Star Wars game that EA put out, it was a fun experience, but you could definitely tell like the, it wasn't the best looking game. So now that they're saying with the PS5 Pro, we're levy all that, giving you the best experience that we should have had since day one. So I am truly happy that's going to be the case and makes me more excited when they finally finish the story at Cal Kestis and the next Jedi uh, wherever they're going to call it. I can't wait to see it will be day one native for the PS5 Pro and to see what can they do uh, with the with the power of it built from the ground up. All right. Let's check out another studio have to say. Here we have Koei Tecmo Games, the developers behind Rise of the Ronin. We are very happy to bring you a new way to experience Rise of the Ronin with the PS5 Pro. Not only is there a responsive katana action at high frame rate, but you can also walk through a beautiful renditions of the streets of Yoko, Yokohama Ido in Koto and meet heroes of the 19th century depicted in greater graphical detail. I hope you will try and experience this Bakumatsu era world of Japan. I am sorry if I botched any of those things. But yeah, uh, they didn't go in detail what improvements that the PS5 Pro will have on Rise of Ronin. Basically, they're, basically they're saying uh, wait, and, wait and see for more information in the coming months. Most likely uh, by the time the console release or probably a few days after. Because currently we're... Um, Leading up to the launch, we are getting like more details of what games are going to be pro enhanced. So, I believe they're trying to do like at least 
80 something by the game launch i could be wrong about that but i did saw some type of number somewhere that said other uh, that said what they're how many games they're trying to have be pro enhanced by the game launch but with that being said let's move on konami digital entertainment and metal gear solid delta the innovative pssr technology will allow for trees and the lush vegetation of the game, game's iconic jungle terrain to become more vivid, enhances the sense of realism, realism of infiltrating through a natural environment. Additionally, we are able to deliver a smoother gameplay experience with better framings throughout the entire game. So yes, uh, the some people most of the anticipated game, which is Metal Gear Solid 3, uh, will be pro enhanced by the time it launches. I I don't think there's a release date for it, but I'm assuming it's probably coming out next year. Since at the Tokyo Game Show, people managed to get their hands on experience with it, so it is definitely definitely cool that it will be pro enhanced by the time it launches. So I'm curious to see what kind of improvements. Uh, that the PS5 Pro will have for that game so far. It sounds like a, a better resolution, more detail, and a solid frame rate, which the PS5, which is what the PS5 Pro was designed to do. All right, let's see who else we have. We have Nexon Games, the developers of the First Ascendant. In the first ascent, we put significant effort into expanding the ray tracing feature by leveraging the PS5 Pro's superior GPU performance and enhanced ray tracing architecture. As a result, we are we achieve more lifelike and natural lighting and shadow effects compared to the standard PlayStation 5. And additionally, we'll be utilizing the PlayStation Spectral Super Resolution we were able to deliver a high resolution and better image quality. We are also currently working on enabling FSR 3.1 frame generation to provide, to provide improved frame rate. We hope players of the first descent will enjoy enhanced gameplay experience with super image quality and frame rate through the PS5 Pro. Alright, so this is one of those games or the biggest test for the PS5 Pro. Because currently there are some games have not been doing well when it comes to when it comes to using the Unreal Engine 5 game. And the first to send it does look a very good and detailed game uh, with a pretty solid frame rate right now, and that's running on Unreal Engine 5. So with that in mind, is the PS5 Pro is improving that even more. I think Future, I I strongly to believe future Unreal Engine 5 games will be running better on the PS5 Pro. At least that why I like to believe. So by the time the PS4 come come around, we're gonna see a lot more tests, especially when it comes to Unreal Engine 5 games. So with that being said. I hope everything turns out well for future games that will be running on Unreal Engine 5. Alright, let's see the next studio. Here we have Remedy Games, the developers of Alan Wake 2 and Shifta, the developers of Stellar Blade. First, Remedy. Our graphic engineers at Remedy have greatly enjoyed improving Alan Wake 2 for the PS5 Pro together with the team at Sony Interactive. With a game like Alan Wake 2 where the mood and environmental storytelling are essential, bringing ray tracing to the game as a brand new feature adds another layer of immersion. We have also used the additional power of the PS5 Pro to improve the visuals and effects in the, in the 60 FPS performance mode, where we have upped the output resolution to 4K making the experience look even better than before. Right, now from Shift Up, with the PS5 Pro, players will be able to enjoy Stellar Blade in 4K resolution at 50 FPS or more, 
with smoother resolute with smoother gameplay and you'll notice an improvement in the grain and detail in the game in the PSSR upscale mode. Plus the high FR high frame rate option is supported allowing you <coughs> allow you to enjoy a fluid gaming experience at 80 FPS 120 Hz display support required. So learning games is definitely uh, utilizing uh, the power for Alan Way 2 so it will be a higher resolution and frame rate and Shifter have said that you'll be able to play Star Blade 50 and higher frame rate so I believe a lot of people will go back when it comes to Star Blade a lot of people will go back to play especially that are coming out with that collaboration with Nier Automata so and also probably people was hold holding off on playing that game because they wanted to play it the best way possible so more than likely they were probably waiting for a pc version but now with the ps5 pro technically you are will be playing the best version of it compared to the standard ps5 so oh and also the shifter have came out with an update to improve the physics when it comes to stellar blade so even more power to shift up and making Star Blade uh, the best game performance wise. So now they got even more power to use on the PS5 Pro. And let's get to our last two studios that we have left. Now we're up to Square Enix. Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth is now able to evolve to the next level by utilizing new architecture and superior hardware power of PS5 Pro. The new enhanced mode developed specially for the PS5 Pro combines characteristics of existing performance mode and graphic mode to other players a new visual experience. Specifically, enhanced mode runs at a frame rate of 60 FPS and supports PSSR to achieve a resolution on par with that of graphics mode. Mode names under development subject to change. These visual enhancements result in each richer in rendering for all aspects of the game, including the world, the combat, and the cutscene. Take a player immersion even further. We invite you to experience an even more thrilling, even more beautiful Final Fantasy VII Rebirth with the PS5 Pro. Okay, we have seen like side by side comparisons with the PS5 with and against the PS5 Pro, and the character models definitely look more better on the ps5 pro people got to play final fantasy 7 rebirth run on the ps4 pro saw a big difference especially having the vision uh, having the high scale resolution and also having the 60 fps mode so their combat gameplay is all the while better with that being said i hope they do it for final fantasy 16 and for future projects uh, that Square Enix have cooking, especially Kingdom Hearts 4, which is, I'm assuming, still going to be running on Unreal Engine 4. I don't know if they will do Unreal Engine 5 for Kingdom Hearts 4, but uh, we just have wait and see. So far, we haven't heard anything about that game for a while, so hopefully we'll see some type of news for it in the coming months or in sometime next year. Alright. On to our last studio who gave their response about the PS5 Pro. And finally Ubisoft. Right from the start of the Crew Mode Fest development, the teams of Ivory Tower have always been excited to experiment with the new with the features of power offered by the PS5. The fans have the feedback of the DualSense controller, fast loading times, and more. We are always looking for new ways to make driving our Hawaiian world more impactful and or uh, more immersive. The PlayStation 5 already permitted the crew Moto Fest to get a new level of visual fidelity and immersion, making the control the perfect link between the player and the terrain. With the power of the new features of the PS5 Pro, we had the opportunity to push visual settings and details even further. Sharper and cleaner image quality thanks to the PSSR, with more objects on screen, decals, vegetation, and crowds all running at 60 FPS. All combined we think we found the most intense way to experience the game. Assassin's Creed Shadow is our upcoming open world action adventure RPG taking place in Fuel Japan. We've been working with diligently to maximize the experience on the PS5 Pro, leveraging 
the increased ray tracing capability of PS5 Pro. As such increased shadows will exhibit an enhanced ray trace global illumination technology, thanks to the PlayStation uh, Spectral Super Resolution. And combined with a more powerful GPU, players will be players will see improved rendering systems and encased in the photorealism and immersion of the game. As players explore Fuel Japan, they can expect improvement, improved environments, ambience, and atmosphere, as well as more details up close and at a distance. With the PS5 Pro, players will be able to experience a visually stunning game that fully immersed them in the 16th century of Japan. Right? And there you have it. Those are a couple of studios and developers given a detail of what the PS5 PS5 Pro will do for their games and for the future of their IPs that they have coming down the line. So now I want to kick it to you guys. Do you think the PS5 Pro is worth it? Do you pre-order your own? Do you like the uh, the details what the developers are planning to do with the increased power thanks to the PS5 Pro? Me personally, I am looking forward to all the enhancements that the PS5 Pro will do to existing titles and future ones that are be coming down the pipeline. Those are like uh, Marvel Wolverine, Assassin's Creed Shadows, uh, the next Final Fantasy game, and so on and so forth. So, <clears throat> I'm definitely liking it. A lot of improvements coming. So, I can't wait to see when this console release the proper comparisons. So, what do you guys think? Was this enough for you to get the PS5 Pro or no? Well, that's the end of the video. With that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next one. I hope you enjoy your weekend and peace out.